election day, hurricane preparedness, and new uniforms for our GPD officers are all in this week's Waves of Information. Election Day is this Saturday, May 5th, and your opportunity to early vote ends tomorrow. Your last chances to vote early are today, Monday, and tomorrow, Tuesday, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at four locations on the island. Those locations include the Galveston County Justice Center, the Galveston County Courthouse, Moody Methodist Church, and Seaside Baptist Church. Election Day polls will be open on Saturday, May 5th, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at eight different locations across the island. You can view all of available locations and sample ballots at galvestonvotes.org. All positions on Galveston City Council are up for election, however, only three of the races for District 3, 5, and 6 are contested races. You can view the candidates, their latest campaign finance reports, and more information about what is required to vote online at galvestontx.gov slash castyourvote. Are you and your family storm ready, Galveston? A great opportunity to brush up on plans, register for evacuation assistance, and receive notifications from the city will be available at this year's annual preparedness fair to be held on Saturday, May 19th at the McGuire Dent Recreation Center. This year, the city is transitioning over to the state evacuation assistance registry called STEER. Residents who need evacuation assistance with medical or access and functional needs, including anyone who was registered with the previous need ride system, will need to register as soon as possible with the state of Texas by calling 211 on any landline or mobile device. Registration is also available online at steer.dps.texas.gov. Moving over to this system will allow a more coordinated effort across the state for assessing needs during a state of emergency. Residents can also register at the annual preparedness fair, which will be held at the McGuire Dent Recreation Center on Saturday, May 19th from 10 a.m. to noon. The fair will feature numerous preparedness vendors as well as local meteorologists from the National Weather Service to assist in making sure your family is storm ready ahead of the 2018 season. And now here's Captain Sherrard with an update from the Galveston Police Department about their new uniforms. As a reminder, starting this week, our residents and guests will see our officers sporting a new look. The Galveston Police Department's new operational uniform has proven to provide better heat mitigation and increased ballistic protection for our officers working the street. And now, here's a quick look at our new look. Starting May 1st, the Galveston Police Department will be changing its daily operational uniform. The all-dark navy uniform will be worn by all police officers in the field, replacing the light blue shirts that you're probably used to seeing. The decision was made to switch uniforms to offer officers a safer and more comfortable option for daily wear. These uniforms use advanced synthetic fabrics, coupled with a ballistic vest that is actually worn on the outside of the uniform to help keep officers cool during the hot South Texas weather. The new body armor also provides increased ballistic protection, accessibility, and rescue options should they be needed. As the oldest police department in the state, the Galveston Police Department is heavily rooted in tradition, and as such, we will be keeping the light blue shirts as a Class A ceremonial uniform worn at graduations, award ceremonies, and the like. Until next week, Galveston.